Hi, I'm Lars. Welcome back to the shop. If you find yourself coming back to the channel quite a bit and you haven't subscribed yet, do us a favor and click on that little subscribe button down there. It's free and helps increase visibility with YouTube, allowing us to grow our channel and provide more videos like this one on the X-Tool F1 Performing Maintenance. Maintenance is important for any tool and the X-Tool F1 is just that, it's a tool for all of us makers. X-Tool recommends three steps to do whenever you do maintenance on your, on your F1. One is cleaning the field lens, the second is lubing the protector enclosure, the third is um, cleaning out the exhaust output fan and that whole port and everything, make sure it's all clean. Um, my wife, or if anyone's been watching any of the channels that are out there, it's watching this, uh, you'll find out she does 99% of all the laser videos and instructions over there. I'm more on the woodworking side and the CNC shop. Um, so we're going to pass this video off to her at this point and she's going to go through her four steps that she does to make sure that we don't have fires in our F1. In order to do maintenance on your X-Tool F1, the first thing you want to do is make sure all your connections to the system and power and exhaust have been removed from the unit. Next, you want to refer to your X-Tool F1 user's manual. You want to go to page 8, and they'll briefly go through the three steps that they have for maintaining your X-Tool F1. Now, I'm going to go into this in a little bit more detail, because I actually do four steps. So let's get started on that. So the first thing I do, open the cover, we're going to push this, hold this back, and remove the bottom plate, because I want to be able to have access through here as well as here when cleaning the F1. First thing I'm going to do is flip it over on its back side, because the first step to doing maintenance on your X-Tool F1 is going to be cleaning the field lens. This is the, one of the easiest and most beneficial steps in maintaining your X-Tool F1. Because if the field lens is dirty, it can cause your engraves to be poor, as well as your cuts. And it's something that's very easy to do and can be done every day if you're using your F1 frequently. So, they provide you with a lint-free cloth. It comes in your, in your kit with your F1 and they recommend that you take isopropyl alcohol to clean the lens. I've taken some of the alcohol and placed it in a spray bottle, put a couple of sprays on the cloth, and then you're gonna wipe your lens down. Like I said, it's very easy to do, and this lens gets dirty quite frequently. So it's something that can be done very easily once a day after you're done using your F1. Put your, I would recommend that you put it back in its pouch or something easy to keep it clean for the next use. Next, step two. You want to clean the protective enclosure. So, we're going to close this. I'm going to take a simple microfiber cloth that you can pick up anywhere. I've got these off of Amazon. And you're going to wipe down the exterior of the unit. You can also, like I said, this is very easy access, removing that plate. You can come up and you can clean the inside of this enclosure. This will get built up with smoke, dust, particles, debris from the engraving and cutting. Now you want to raise it up and clean the inside as well as the exterior. Now for step three, we're going to use the Peng Sheng grease that came with the X-Tool F1. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not quite sure, but this is what we're going to use. We're going to take this and we're going to run it right along the edge of these rails. The front and the back. To 
grease the rails. Set it upright and then you're going to run it up and down a few times to get that grease put into these grooves on the back side of the F1. And that's complete step three. Now for step four, we're going to work on removing and cleaning the, the smoke outlet and fan on the back of the X-Tool F1. Now this is a little, takes a little bit more work. This is something that you need to do, I don't know, they don't say how frequently, but it depends on how much you use your unit. I wouldn't say that it even needs to be done weekly, but maybe every few weeks. So you need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and you need to come in and you need to remove the screws from the back of the fan to release the fan. Now these are not secured very tightly so they're very easy to loosen up. So, oops. make sure they're all loose where I can get this out of here. So that is the outer piece of the fan. First thing you want to do is take a cloth and wipe this down to make sure that any debris or anything is not in this outer cover. Second thing you want to get is a can, can to air. Or you can use an air compressor if you want to, if you have one of those. And then you just want to blow, not lose your straw, and clean of any debris from the inside as well as the outside. Once it's clean, you can wipe it down, make sure there's anything left on there. Wipe the inside of it. We're wiping on the inside as well as the outside. And then you can put your enclosure. There's some pretty long screws in there. Okay, so we're going to put these screws back in and tighten it back down. Now, these don't need to be, they just need to be snug, not just torqued down, just, just a little snug. One thing you might come across when you're working on your fan is your fan might be kind of gunked up like this one is. This is an old computer fan. And as you can see, I really have to push to turn this. And when we get into the fan that I got sitting down here, I'll show you how easy it should be spinning. So again, to take these apart, there's four screws in the back. And you, you, they're pretty long screws, so you want to make sure that you get them completely out. that and then to lift the fan out there's a little little ribbon cable back here and it's going to get caught up on it so just be careful about that and then on this side I'm going to tilt it so you can see it underneath here there's a little piece of uh, in insulation insulating foam you need to push this back and then on top there's a little clip that you push down and at the same time, you need to pull on the cable. And you'll see that when I get it out. So it's a little clip on it. And you got to push it down to get it out. It can only go back in one way. But as you can see with this fan, how it spins a lot easier than, than this one here. This one is, this is an old computer fan. It's locked up. But I just wanted to show everybody 
the difference because if this this will not spin it off we apply power to it now these fans as you can see the way you read these this model number says everything that you need to know it's a 60 60 by 60 millimeter or like 2.37 inches by 20 millimeters which is this side here which is about 0 0.78 0 0.79 inches and it's a 24 volt fan DC now this takes this uses this fan uses 0.2 amps to spin I don't know what the CFMs are on it I can't find this fan anywhere on the internet and at the moment Xtool doesn't have any of these on their website that we can find um, not saying they don't carry them but um, there's just none out there to get any information on I have found them on Amazon uh, but those are only 0.15 amps and uh, some of them are 0.1 amps so I'll put the the descriptions that I found I'll put the links in the description below the ones that I found um, you can use less amps because this is just going to draw from the electrical current you don't want to use something that has more amps so if you have a new fan when you get it and you want to put it in you just kind of take this again and tilt this back up so you can see and put the put the plug in put this back down like this and then put your screws back in like that and always go from one side to the other don't go around you know circular or anything like that clockwise with the screws don't crank these things down you just need to barely tighten them up just snug them up All right, so I hope that helped you out with uh, fan replacement for the X-Tool F1. Again, anybody can do that. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to check with X-Tool to make sure that you can get a fan from X-Tool. If not, like I said, there'll be some links down below that you can check out and you know get a fan replacement. So there, all four steps are now done. Now I know X-Tool does three, but like I said, I like to do four because I like to make sure this enclosure and the unit is wiped down. Now, if you have any questions, other items that you think might be easier to use to clean um, the unit, please leave them in the comments below. This is something, these steps are something that anyone can do and it can be done in a very short period of time. It should only take five, ten minutes at the end of a production day and it's something that Simple maintenance on the unit will make it last longer. So now that you've seen this video on the X-Tool and performing maintenance, uh, you should be able to perform this maintenance on your X-Tool and F1. And since it's, you know, as you can see, it's not that hard to do. It's something that you should be doing daily or whenever you're using your X-Tool F1. Now, if you use it periodically, I would make sure I did this before I actually ran the F-Tool F1. Uh, anything with like smoke uh, build up on the on the protective enclosure or bits and pieces particles that can be in the exhaust fan can cause fire when when a laser is being activated and something you can remember it doesn't always take a spark to start a fire it can just be something that is combustible that gets hot all right being that we live on a farm and anyone who lives on a farm knows this, you never buy wet hay, all right? When you're feeding your animals, you never buy wet hay. You never have it baled wet, because what happens is that that moisture builds up, it gets hot, and then it will just combust, all right? There's no spark involved. It just, there's so much heat, it doesn't have anything other to do but just combust and start in a fire. So make sure you keep the maintenance up on your X-Tool F1. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, or if you like videos like this, please click like on the video and please subscribe to our channel. It's free and helps us increase visibility with YouTube, allowing us to grow our channel and provide more videos just like this one. As always, you're always welcome to come back to the shop, so come back often and have a nice day.